Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy as a part of the 180,000 subscriber stream we're going to be playing. You know, it's going to be pretty normal other than that and me talking to people in the background. So let's find something to do today, my friends. What, a destroyable mini city? Is someone speaking to my soul? This is exactly what I need. It's... Wow, there's even a fireworks that happens. This is fantastic. There's so much we could do. Is this like heavy uranium in it? I see I see stuff. I, we're gonna have to see what happens, okay? We're gonna we're gonna have to see what kind of damage we can do today. Blow it up. I would never blow something up, but if I were to blow something up, I'd put some like nuclear bomb inside of the moon and then set it off and watch the fireworks. Alright, using my absolutely insane skills and, uh, shoot. Okay, let's see now if we put neutrons into here, will the moon explode? Holy guacamole, the moon will explode and with quite, quite some power, woo! The explosion of the moon didn't actually cause much damage, wow. I was expecting the moon literally exploding to do slightly more damage. All right, let's say instead of a crescent moon, it was a full moon. I'm sure it'll be just as gentle. Ooh, just immediately, just immediately. Okay, okay, can you imagine being in the city looking up and just seeing the Cheerio of death? Actually, you wouldn't see the hole in it because it would be 3D, but... Okay, so at this point, the uh, shockwave, the initial shockwave is hitting, windows are being broken, you know, the heat wave starting to hit. Um, now the radiation and the uh, actual, you know, heat is starting to hit and you are melted instantly. And from this point on, it's not good. I mean, the ground is literally melting. <laughs> literally melting. Slight issue. It looks like we may have accidentally turned the ground to glass. All right, the upper defense city has been destroyed. But you should notice that the lower city has survived. We did it. We did it, folks. We defended a city using a duplicate of that city. What more is there to say? Now I know how we can defend the world. All we have to do is build a giant mock replica of the world, one to one scale. Look at this, even faced with Pluto- oh. You know, for a second I was hopeful. For a second, I was very hopeful. It would appear that our experiment has gone slightly wrong. I'm trying to put my finger on where. Something... <laughs> something about the city defense failed horribly. On the bright side, the heating bills have gone down dramatically. The Lizard Super t Destroyable Fusion Reactor. Fusion? F fusion reactor? Not... Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Did fusion, not fission? Like, legitimately? I'm calling a bluff there. Oh my god, no, it's legitimately a fusion reactor. My eyes are widening because this is insane. Someone actually made a fusion reactor, and it doesn't melt itself? Holy guacamole! Holy guacamole! Wait a moment, it doesn't die immediately? Does that mean I've been doing it wrong? Yeah, I, I know I've been doing it wrong, but, but really? The pressure is insanely high, and that is at 9,000 degrees. So I guess it runs, and then it shuts off to cool down, and then it runs again. Spike, I'm your last hope. 
You know what my last hope is? My last hope is not being spammed by people telling me to look at their saves. That is my last hope. Is this going to overheat? It's at like a thousand degrees. It, it says it said it shouldn't, but um... Spike is impressed that it's great. No, I'm just impressed that they managed to contain a fusion reactor without it like dying. It's kind of insane. Kind of insane. So the glow goes here, it gets cooled down by this liquid nitrogen, then it comes back around for the cycle. No, this is actually really well made. Um, I have no complaints, except for one, which is what if... What if... What if a bomb fell <laughs> under the facility? Okay, look, if there was if there was a... If there was a fusion reactor, you know what would happen immediately. Someone would fire a missile at it. That's the first thing that would happen. So let's see if a missile were to hit it, what would happen. All right. So it looks like we, uh, one of the hydrogen tanks just blew and, uh, has went completely burned, burned right through. Uh, where did that go? It went through this tube into, I think, it, I think it's just going to shut off. It'll just run out of hydrogen, which isn't really that cool. Uh, well, there, there's a better way for us to destroy it, so let me go back. Um, this right here, this, uh, cooling system, which is slightly important for a fusion reactor. This is Spike quotes, what if a bomb? Yeah. What if a bomb? You, you're just, you're just eating dinner. You hear knocking on your door, I, I kick down the door and I'm like, what if a bomb were to fall? <laughs> Right now, on to your dinner. What would happen? <laughs> I want answers right now. Well, what would occur? These are important questions, okay? All right, so what if a bomb <laughs> were to hit the cooling section of this and were to take out the liquid nitrogen at least a little bit? Well, what would happen? We, we need to know the answer to this for science. All right, so it's not completely been taken out. All right, it's it's been somewhat taken out, but there's still a little bit left in the line. Um, but things are getting clogged up over here. Things are definitely getting clogged up, and the uh, glow is getting hotter. Things are starting to get a little orange. Looking at the heat display, uh, we can see that things are slowly, slowly heating up. Especially near the area where it's supposed to be getting cold. It's kind of just passing through and just warm The top of the reactor is getting kind of hot. This rod here is at 3,000 degrees. Holy guacamole That's quite that's quite warm And the uh, the temperature does appear to be rising a little bit Not as much as I would have expected though uh, Maybe when it goes through another run it goes, it runs in like spurts, it doesn't just like constantly run the fusion part of it, so... Gotta kinda wait a little bit and see what ha Oh, there it's running the fusion again! Alright, now we should see- yes! Yes, this is getting to 3,000 degrees. Um, it is almost certainly overheating at this point. Uh, considering there is literally... No... No liquid nitrogen making it to the cooling section. Uh, this area is... Eh, it was warm. It's cooling down again, though, because this is moving through. But the glow that's flowing through it is getting hotter. And hotter. And notice the cooling tower is getting very warm. Uh, the cooling tower is supposed to cool it. So the fact that the cooling tower is not cooling... It's getting very hot is a sign that something is wrong. I'm not sure what brick melts at in this game, um, but it's getting close. It's quite orange. It's quite orange. Oh no! What is this? It's making it through again? It's alright, we're gonna fix this. Oh shoot, I accidentally put thermite- Oh! Okay, that was a little bit more violent than I meant. 
to be. Um, well, the thermite certainly... Oh! There we go. Yeah, taking out the cooling line with thermite was enough to cause the entire thing to go kablooey. And it looks like it's just running forever now because the electrical just got shorted. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Nothing could possibly go wrong. I accidentally put the... Accidentally! Now, uh, just hypothetically, if I were to put thermite down. <laughs> hypothetically. Alright. I am curious what would happen if I were to just feed thermite directly into the system. Um, <laughs> call me a bad person, but uh, the answer needs to be found. Right? Questions are being asked. Emmanuel. Oh. Shoo. Jeez. Okay, hydrogen in. Nice. Alright, so I can just continually hit this and uh, hydrogen will go in. Right? That's, that's the idea. Still going pretty slow, and it looks like there's actually a filter here to prevent. Yeah, yeah, there is. Well, it would be a shame if that filter were just gone. Uh, it looks like I may have also broken the pipe and the hydrogen is leaking out, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh! Would you look at that? There's a slight amount of thermite in the pipes now. Very, very slight. You can barely notice. Barely notice the hydrogen mixed with thermite. The thermite is getting a little bit... I mean, if if the thermite... Thermite doesn't burn as hot as hydrogen, so maybe it will just be fine. Like, I'm assuming something will go wrong, but maybe, maybe nothing will go wrong. Alright, we are introducing more thermite. Oh! All right, uh, we have our answer. Um, hmm. It only takes a little bit of thermite. I thought it would be a little bit more resilient, honestly. Interesting. Wonder if there's other things, like, for example, if I put soap into the reaction chamber, just, just curious, asking for a friend. Let's just put some soap in the reaction chamber. Just normal things on this channel, you know. A little bit of soap in the fusion chamber. Uh, well, let's see what happens. Alright, looks pretty normal to me so far. The soap may actually be causing problems, though. Like, I don't actually see the fusion happening anymore. I think- I think the fusion may have been broken. <laughs> wow! That was fast. I thought it would take a little bit longer to break it. Um... Is the pressure lost? No. Is the heat lost? <gasps> the heat was lost. Oh, okay. It's okay. I'll just heat it up manually. We'll get it running. No worries. We'll get it running. I'm a professional. Come on. Here we go. There we go. See, I can make the fusion. Oh! Okay. Oh, well, it looks like the soap mixed with the forced heating did not make it very happy. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we learned today a few things. Tanks should not be made out of wood. Fusion reactors should not be filled with soap. And I should not run a nuclear program. Wow, hi! It's me, once again. You should like, subscribe, like, leave a comment, run a nuclear program, give me plutonium. You can mail it to me. I have a P.O. Box thing. Y yeah. Definitely send me actually I don't know if I can even legally ask for plutonium so for legal 
Leasons? Reasons. That's a joke. FBI, please do not shut me down. Yet. 